Now to a 41 Action News exclusive. A Leewood family had their home raided because of where they shopped and what police thought they found in their trash. Lindsay Sively has been digging into the story for weeks now, and tonight has records that reveal surprising surveillance and a false drug arrest. The Hart family had to sue to see these records, never knowing why this happened to them. Now we know what started as an innocent shopping trip led to officers digging in their trash and finding something they thought was illegal. Just released video reveals what Johnson County Sheriff's deputies saw after raiding this Leewood home last April. They searched every nook and cranny looking for marijuana. When we first met the Hearts in March, they had no idea what triggered the traumatic two and a half hour search that kept the Hearts' 13 and 7 year old children on the couch and dad on the ground. Face down, hands behind my back, some goon standing over me with an assault rifle. Deputies found nothing except a father son creation this hydroponic garden with tomatoes and squash. Trying to tell them they were in the wrong house. We're not drug users, we never have been. Um, we had some information that led us to this drug use. It was misinformation that brought deputies banging down the heart's door. We got the court documents to fill in the blanks. It started at this River Market hydroponics store, the Green Circle, where Bob Hart was spotted shopping. The owner isn't happy his customers are being watched. Why should they be? We're not in a, in a communist country. An affidavit reveals a Missouri Highway Patrol sergeant saw Bob Hart leaving with a small bag of merchandise in August 2011. Seven months later, he called the tip in to the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. And for three weeks on early April mornings, sheriff's deputies started digging through the Hart's trash. They found nothing the first week. The second and third week, they found wet leaves and stems that field tested positive for marijuana leading to the raid three days later. When that raid came up empty, they retested the leaves from the trash in a lab. The lab test came back negative. There had never been marijuana in the Hart's trash at all. Lindsay Shively, 41 Action News. Well, we reached out to the Johnson County Sheriff's Office. They declined to comment. The Hart family released a statement reading in part, quote, we cannot understand how the low level of police work which included using an unreliable marijuana field test, could have permitted a SWAT-style raid of our home. You can read their entire statement by going to KSHB.com.